today i know i've been mia uh i've been busy it's been for good reason but before we get into that reason i want to show y'all something y'all been going crazy on my posts oh wait i gotta block the, the security code all right here we go check that out oh my goodness zoom in zoom in i don't know if it's zooming in but we've got 1,000 subscribers now that's pretty insane. 1,000 subscribers. It has taken me roughly about three years to get to that point. And I just wanted to thank each and every one of y'all for smashing that thumbs up button, that like button, that subscribe button, sharing, spreading the good word. And uh, yeah, it's been one heck of a ride, man. I've really enjoyed uh, making these videos for you guys. Um, I've had an absolute blast. We've uh, we've come such a long way since uh, when I first started making these videos. I also wanted to let you guys know why 1,000 subscribers is such a big deal. Um, if you want to get on the YouTube partnership program and to actually make some money at this, um, you have to have over 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, and then you also have to have over 4,000 watch hours, which is basically uh how many hours your viewers view your videos are they watching the full video or are they only watching 10 seconds of it um so i'm trying to get better at making some good content that way y'all are going to enjoy it enough to want to watch the full video that way the longer y'all watch the video the better chance that i have to start making some money at this and then once i start making some money at this i can start buying some more entertaining more um adrenaline rushing fast machine parts goodies upgrades or maybe even new bikes so the sooner I can start making some more money, the sooner I can uh, start buying some more interesting things to keep this content rolling, have something to talk about, and be able to share more knowledge with y'all with uh, my opinions of bikes and what I would prefer to ride and how it feels and stuff like that. So if y'all could, do me a big favor. Um, continue to smash that thumbs up button. Write your comments down below. It helps the algorithm trigger uh, that people really like to enjoy watching my videos and to engage on it. If you find that it's entertaining enough, just please watch till the end of the video. It helps me out a ton more than you can imagine. So uh, yeah, thank you for that. But yeah, I just wanted to thank each and every one of y'all for just supporting the channel overall. It's It's been quite a, quite a amazing journey. I've had a lot of fun making these videos for you guys. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to pop on here and just show y'all um, all the hard work is paying off. Uh, these videos are taking off. And uh, super stoked, guys. I've got a lot of plans for 2023. 22 was a crazy, awesome ride. But 23 is going to be even better. I also wanted to say, man, none of this would be possible without you guys. So I really wanted to, to thank you again for all the support and the kind words and always liking my videos. Putting some awesome comments down below. But let's get into why I've been MIA here lately. <laughs> the bike <laughs> is down for a second. No, I did not crash. Everything is good. Um, the light bulb burnt up on my street bike. This is the... I don't know if I can get a good shot right here, but it actually melted the inside housing of this um, aftermarket light and it faded the heck out of it, which is why I'm going back to the OEM, my old OEM. It looks so much better, but it does have some scratches on it. I had to JB weld these little pieces back into place, but she's going to be good as, good as gold again after this. But the reason why I've been uh, MIA is I just moved into my new house. That's what I've been working on for the last eight months. Uh, and I have got everything decked out in it now. I'm building out the Chase One Up garage, the man cave. I built this uh, street bike work bench table. That way it elevates the bike in the air. It makes it easier to work on. I got the YZ 
too fitty, too smoke up here now instead of in the crawl space in the basement. Got all my woodworking tools out here. I built this entire workbench right here. Took a long time, but I finally got it all built, put together. Everything turned out good. As you can see, it's the Chase One Up workbench. I built me a Jixer sign for all you Jixer fans out there. We got a store for some dirt biking. We got a dirt bike helmet with Suzuki on it. Jixer. <laughs> I know that don't match, but still. We've got my wreck bearings with the Chase One Up big banner sign up there. Uh, but yeah, everything's coming along well. I can't wait to uh, start getting into making some more content for you guys. Now that I have uh, some spare time on my hands, cannot wait for this summer, man. I've got a lot of plans planned out. It's going to be a good time, and we're going to see some new stuff. I don't want to spoil any surprises, but y'all are going to be like, it's about dang time. So yeah, I can't wait to show y'all what, what I have in store. But this is the end of this video. There's not going to be any riding. I just wanted to let y'all know where I've been, what I've been doing. I'm doing great. Everything's going well. I did not wreck. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to thank y'all for all your support. We finally made 1,000 subscribers. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have been able to make that happen. So just wanted to thank y'all for that. And uh, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.